Hey there everybody, today I'm going to be showing how I make a chuck guard. I'll be making mine up an inch, over an inch. The last time I had that on there, it was scraping. It says I'm going to be working on a, a mold or a, so I'm going to be making that to accommodate for that. So I'm going to come up about an inch, over an inch. So let's get started. All right, everybody, you're gonna need your chuck guard, piece of cardboard, a clear facial lens. I got off of eBay for about two to three dollars, relatively cheap, and some kind of cutters, and number two pencil. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up an inch over an inch to accommodate for a uh, bigger chuck. So, I'm gonna come up an inch and over an inch, but if you're trying to make exactly this, I would go about yay there, a line here, come down, line over, line here, come here, the line where the bins will be, would be exact, and draw your shape like so. This way, you figure out where everything goes. So, I said that's where your pen's gonna be. So now, try to get this side. So, do that. That's your end. Like I said, in my case, then I'm going to come up an inch and over an inch. So, it'll be right about there. So what I'm going to do is uh, mark the back, oh, not, oh, not mark the back, come over, down, over, down, then I'll start my angles. So come over, draw it out. Mark so I know which one to go to and come all the way across. Then back my shape right here is what I'm looking for. Those be my pin, so take a straight edge. So I'll come across. Come across. And that will be where my pins are at. This will be where the screw will line up. So, go like that. Don't to be perfect. So, that's my shape. Okay, now I got the shape cut out. I'm going to go with the, uh, these two holes closer. So, get that marked out. And cut it out. Mark. Don't want to be perfect. So, get it marked out. Just like so. There you go. I'm going to get that cut out and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I got it all cut out. Cut out an extra one. So, we'll glue them together to make it more strong. But I ran into a problem. I messed up. This is supposed to come out about an inch more this way, but I made it closer to here when it's supposed to be out to here. But seeing I only have one of them, I'm just gonna roll with it. So I'm gonna get this bent real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got them both bent. What I did is I took it and marked out where my bends are. Took the straight edge and marked it, marked it, then took it to the vise and just bent them over. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off this blue plastic that's on here. The plastic comes off by the way. So I'm going to rip all that off in a minute. Get a hot glue gun. 
and just kind of go around the edges the hot glue make it more make it stronger and after I get done with that I'm going to trim it down to size and, and put the holes and put it on all right now I've got all glued and put together now I'm going to go ahead and clean it up off camera so I'll be right back Okay, I got a clean cut out and cleaned up. Not perfect, but it'll do the job. I used two just to make it more stronger, more non flexible. So I just put two on there. Got the holes put in, glued dry, and cleaned up. So I'm put this on. Okay, I got it back on and all done. It's not perfect, but it'll do its job. And also probably help me keep me from keeping the chuck key in and closing it and starting it. Never done it, but it's nice to know. And if you'd like to see how I made this chuck key, like, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And next week I'll be making a new angle lock for the lathe, so stay tuned for that. I got a close to close to three eighths, a little bit over three eighths flat bar. So I'll be showing you how I make that in a future video, so see you then.